right, guys, here's the big reveal for what I've done to Matson's room. I organized her bookcase over here. These are all boxes of stuff that we're going to sell on eBay. Here is her guitar and her keyboard. Here is her original dresser. That's some um, printer paper, her mirror, and I'm going to put her printer right there. Right now it's in my craft room. I organized her little desk area. Y'all, she's got a huge room. It's her little dark corner. Everything in her room used to be Little Mermaid and Nemo and aquatic stuff, and so she's kind of moving in her... I don't know. She might have drawn that herself. My guess is she did. Um, I know she made that, but some of her, some of her creations that she's made and people have given to her. Anyway, so I organized that a little bit, and then over here I finally put her high boy together. I broke her bed down and turned it into a day bed, and put all of her pillows up there. I left Nemo on the wall. I'm not going to take him down. Um, I organized um, this over here. This is her monster can she's collecting. I'm not sure why. And then I organized the inside of her closet. She's got, we've got an old house. Um, that's her laundry basket. And then there's her shelves. There's all my extra blankets that I keep. And her clothes. And her little shoe rack over here. So that's organized. Let's see if I can close this back up. So back to her bed corner. So um, there's her electronics. I put the um, power strip on the wall. This is her gaming high boy. Um, her top drawer has got games and um, power cords and things like that. And then that's her underwear in her jammy drawer. And then I made her a little nightstand out of a box of a gift that she had that she'll never open. There's her little... Um, Things that she's created and her friends have made for her. My sister made this for her and she loves it. And I've got to have it framed. But I just pinned it up on the wall for right now. Which is funny because there's the cross stitch of Dory and the cross stitch of Nemo that I did for her. For her wall. And this is just a 3D picture. And then she doesn't have her PS4 set up yet because I don't know what to do. This is a joke. I'm leaving it there for her. And then she's got her TV. I've got it all set up. She has to have a fan to sleep at night. I took her wolf blanket and folded it in half and put it in the middle of the floor. Of course, Ramsey's got to get in the shot. Can you wait? Can you wait? What? What? You trying to get my attention? I think he is. What do you think? But anyway, so I will give you a... Run around. I'm going to stand in the middle of the room. That's what the cats have done. There's my craft room. It needs to be organized. My beads and stuff. Okay, so her books. Boxes. And I put the boxes there because there's the living room. Well, of course, mommy's crafty, so she, mommy has crafty stuff everywhere. And then here's her sleeping side of the room. And then her closet. The carpet's clean. It just looks really stained. Now, this, <laughs> this is going to be her project when she gets back from the beach. I'm tempted just to throw everything in a box and make her go through it. This is some stuff for her to go through. This is keepsakes that she wanted to give away. And I'm like, no, you're going to wish you kept them. So I did, like first time at Disney, that type thing. Um, she went to the last Barnum and Bailey's. Um, circus um, and a couple of other things that with, she's done with her grandmother. That's a step stool so Ramsey can get on her bed. But I'm thinking about putting this stuff in a box and just have her go through it and then organize it. This used to be her changing table when she was little and I just turned it into like a shelving unit for her to put her stuff in. So yeah, so this is the only clutter. Her whole room practically looked like this before I got a hold of it, guys. Yeah. But anyway. Her crib used to be in this area, too. Well, no, I'm sorry. Her changing table's always been there. Her, her crib was over where I got the boxes right now, but I want you to see the aquatic stuff. This is another cross-stitch that I did. Let's see if it's going to focus in. It's not going to focus. Why is it not going to focus? Oh, I know why, because it's my bubble's in the wrong spot. Oh, come on. Hang on. All right, now it's focused. I had the bubble in the wrong spot. I did that cross-stitch, and then put it in a frame, and... With a little ribbon on it and then I got that at uh, one of the aquariums I in my journeys across the 
the ocean across the United States. That's a little crooked. My friend Pam is a, a diver and she took that photograph underneath the ocean. It's that gorgeous coral reefs in Florida and the Keys. But what I was going to show you was on the ceiling. I colored that and my niece colored that. I don't know if we dated it or not. I'm, I'm sure on the back I dated it. But anyway, Maddie wanted to take that down. I said, nope, it's staying up there forever. So <laughs> it's been up there for 14 years. It's going to stay up there. But anyway, that's what she had to look at whenever she was getting changed. All right, guys, I have lost my selfie stick. But, hmm. Well, I lost my selfie stick, and uh, but I've, I've got something that I want to show you guys. I was going to show you what I've been working on and what I'm going to add to the giveaway. But I I lost my selfie stick. I'm, I've got you on my tripod, so I will grab my stuff and be right back. All right, as long as I don't touch it, it won't fall. Oh, oh okay. So, <sighs> yeah. All right, so... I don't know if I told you guys this or not, but I was working on a summer top uh, with the Magic Glitz, um, the Ice Yarn Magic Glitz. I caked it up. This is not finished with it. Can you see the glitters? Let me see the glitters on it. I caked it up, and this pattern is for a... I think it's a medium. I don't think it's a large. I could be... Uh, no, it's more like a medium, I think. Um, but it's really cute, don't you think? There's the armholes. I, I was going to make it for myself, but I'm not going to be able to wear it. So I'm probably going to gift it. But this is how it's working up. I think it's really pretty how it's working up. That was the back. This is the front. But this is the Magic Glitz in the, the brown colors. Ice yarns. And if you guys are interested in it, my shop to Ice Yarns is in the link down below. This pattern, isn't that pretty? Isn't that, isn't that pretty? This is a uh, Crystal's Bag Day pattern number 230. You can find that on her channel. She gives you the pattern for a large and extra large, but I, I made it at the biggest settings, but I don't know. Just this is more like a, I think it's more like a medium. But anyway, so that's where I'm at. You make it as you do the repetitive stitches and then you um size it off. So I think I might make it a little bit longer. Right now it's more like a crop top. But I think it's really pretty. I think it turned out really good. I'm impressed. I like it. And it's easy to work up. And I am using the crochet hook that I showed you guys that was gifted to me. My crystal. Uh, crystal, the... I always get... She said I got it right last time. Watch me get it wrong this time. Crystal, the yarny chicken and crazy cat lady. Anyway, she made she gifted that to me, and so it's very pretty. Um, so Crystal, I don't. I, I'm my guess is you probably put your hand on it before you baked it in the oven. That's why my hand fits it so perfectly because it's just the right places for my. Because I'm, I I crochet like this. I I can't crochet like this. I I've, I've tried. I can't, I can't. I don't even eat like this. I know some people that eat like. Well, do I eat like that? How do I eat? I guess I do eat like that. Oh, okay. I eat the way I crochet. Anyway, never thought about it before. Ah, so I'm working on that. Um, I'm going to show you guys my progress on my new baby that I'm making here shortly. But I will go ahead and show you the progress on my head. This is working with one of the yarns that I'm giving away. Um, here's the head of my sleepy baby. But this is working with... This is the eyelash yarn that I'm working with that I showed you guys. It's in the giveaway. It's the brown. It's, oh, it's called coffee. I'm sorry. Um, again, if you're interested in that, um, go watch the giveaway video for the crochet, and I explain more about it. Um, it's an ice yarn, but it's a uh, specialty yarn. But anyway, so I, I paired it with a size 3 pale yellow. So, yeah, so that's the hat. The hat comes off. That's the baby's head. And then eventually I'll stitch this on to the back of the actual baby nightgown I will show that I'll show that later when I get it done but anyway so there's that I am also working on a handbag 
and I'm using all scrap yarns, but I am pairing all my scrap yarns with this size 10 cotton thread. And this is the bottom of the bag. It's my shoulder bag. And this is the top. I think it turned out really good. The reason why I use the white too, it's gonna be a common color throughout the whole bag. So all the scrap pieces, cause I even used some, some fuzzy yarn. I had um, a little tiny ball of the fuzzy yarn. And right now, I, I balled it up. I need to cake it up. Um, this is um, some Wool Ease hand-dyed yarn from Lion Brand. Um, it's funny how when you, when you look at a cake, I mean, look at a hank of yarn, and you unravel the hank, how pretty the colors are just divided and everything. But when you ball it up, it just looks like your regular ball of yarn. Uh, regular variegated ball yarn and when you stitch it up same thing I think the hanks are prettier I would prefer to leave the hanks the way they are and just hang them up on my wall because the way the hanks are are so beautiful hanks of yarn are gorgeous but anyway here's what the inside looks like I'm going to line it I'm going to make a pocket and I'm going to stitch it on the inside my pocket is going to be a uh, probably single crochet I will reinforce it again with the the cotton thread um, just so it'll have some stability and I'll have like a big pocket on the inside I don't know if I'll do a pocket on the outside but eventually when I get it done I'll show you what I'm going to do at the end I'm going to cinch it up and I'm going to have a, a strap I'm going to crochet a strap for it so that's what I've been working on the past couple weeks okay so there's that now I'm hungry I gotta go eat I'm going to eat while I'm posting this um now, if you have not entered the new crochet giveaway, or rather yarn giveaway, you need to head on over there right now. I think there's four balls of yarn. Yes. So I'm going to add more to it today. Um, Ramsey, what are you doing? What are you doing? Y'all, he is a mess. Mess. No. No. Anyway, okay, so I'm adding three more skeins of yarn today um, to the yarn giveaway. I am doing the drawing uh, the weekend of the first. So it'll be... Yay! Okay. Dark Horse. Dark Horse yarns. These are discontinued. They are 100% nylon. They are 100 gram balls. Um, does not say... It doesn't give the colorway. It only gives the dye lot number. It's out of Commerce City, Colorado. Here is in a pink. So you'll be getting this. And it is, again, a novelty yarn, but it's really easy to work with. And again, if you're not comfortable working with these types of yarns, it's very fuzzy. Pair it with something. Pair it with a light pink. Pair it with a white. Pair it with a, ooh, a pale green. That would be really pretty. Um, the pink and green. It'll look very springy. Um, anyway, so you're going to be getting the pink yarn. And I'm also going to give you a blue to represent the boys out there. So the pink represents the girls. The blue represents the boys. You'll get the blue. It's the same type of yarn. It's like a, it's not a bobble yarn. I don't know what you call it. It's bumpy. It's a bumpy yarn. I've made hats and gloves out of this before. And then to represent all my LGBTQ members out there, we are going to give a multicolored one. It's not a rainbow, but it's a beautiful crimson and black and red and fuchsia. You see the fuchsia there? Oh, so pretty. This is one of my favorites. These colors are so beautiful. Again, pair it with a black. That would be nice. Make you a pair of gloves. Make you a hat. And it is so soft, y'all. I mean, this is like uber soft. Um, it doesn't give the yard. Oh, 102 yards. So yeah, you can make a good pair of gloves and a hat with this if you paired it. By itself, you could probably make a pair of gloves or a hat, but I don't think you could do both. But if you paired it, you could do both because it would make it bulkier. But anyway, so to go with that giveaway, you will be getting these three yarns as well. And like I told you guys in the, in the video giveaway video, you need to go watch it. Be watching because I may be adding more stuff to it. You can enter as many times as you want. Now, 
please tell me in the comments what is your favorite color tell me which one is your favorite color in this video and you will get an extra drawing for the giveaway there will be an extra drawing with your name on it if you will pick which color is your favorite the multiple color the blue or the pink which one's your favorite color leave it in the comments below so you can get an extra drawing for the crochet giveaway and be looking there's going to be some other hidden gems i'm doing it so different this year i mean this year this month this month it's maddie's birthday so i'm just doing something on a whim so anyway thank you for watching thank you for participating go check out my little thank you to you guys um it was me singing it, it was me singing but the singing didn't show up so it just shows me lip syncing that's why it looks so perfect because i'm actually singing with it but no sound no sound was on there while i was doing it it was a tiktok experiment uh but yeah go check that out it's a thank you to you guys and i appreciate it it is the brotherly love theme song um Disney picked it up, but it was originally on, I want to say Fox Network was where it originally was, because y'all know I'm obsessed with Joey Lawrence. Joey Lawrence and Jared Leto are my, I'm just obsessed. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> thank you guys for watching, participating. Please, if you want to be in the extra drawing in the giveaway, if you want an extra drawing, leave a comment below. Tell me what's your favorite color. And you can leave a comment for anything else as well. Anyway, so... Thank you for watching. I'm going to add the little clips that I made while I was making the little baby doll so you guys can see what that specialty yarn looks like that's in the giveaway. Um, the chocolate, it's like a eyelash type yarn uh, paired with another, paired with a, a, a strand of yarn because some of you had requested what would it look like. So I went ahead and showed you that. So I'm going to enjoy my, this is my Dunkin' Donut strawberry green tea. Uh, and I'm going to eat because it's late. It is almost 9.30. Tomorrow, you guys. Oh, tomorrow night, I will be um, a guest host for Crystal the Crystal the Yarny Chicken Crazy Cat Lady. And Crazy Cat Lady. I'll be on her channel tomorrow night. 7.30 Eastern, 6.30 Central. It'll be 4 o'clock Pacific. And I don't know where else in the world it would be. Yeah. 4 Pacific, 5 Mount, 4.30 Pacific, 5.30 Mountain, 6.30 Central, 7.30 Eastern. 7.30 Eastern, guys. My time. I will see you guys tomorrow night on her channel live. So if you have any questions you want to ask us, please come over there. I'm not sure how she's going to do this. Um, the last one I watched that she did last Friday night when she had a guest, they did uh, like a QA and a type thing. Um, so yeah, so I guess I will see you guys there. I might talk about the giveaway. I don't know. Whatever she wants to bring up, I suppose. Yeah. And then I got a random act of kindness in the mail, but I'm going to do a separate video for that one. And I will show you guys from, um, um, my dear friend, Miss Wendy, who watches me and I appreciate her. Uh, but I have to, I have to give a shout out and, and give props for these beautiful cards she made and I'm going to show you guys those in another video because I don't want to take away from from how spectacular they are so yeah I will leave a link for the giveaway down below so you don't have to go hunt it up if you want to click on that um yeah go ahead and check it out and uh, make sure you enter because and listen to it all the way to the end because I do have little things that I tell you guys anyway all right I will see you guys in the next I'll see you tomorrow night come see me over at Crystal's channel Love you guys. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, thumbs up, comment below. Peace out. Keep it real. I was trying to record. All right, guys. So I'm going to have to try to do this with one hand. Um, I was going to show you what to do with that specialty yarn that I've got. I'm making little babies. There's a little face. I've got my hot light behind me. Um, I was going to show you guys what I am going to do with that uh, chocolate brown. Um, eyelash yarn I it, they're not calling it an eyelash yarn but to me it's an eyelash yarn I mean because now if you guys haven't seen this is actually there I'm giving a ball of this away in, in this this month's yarn giveaway so what I'm doing with the babies is I'm making arms and I'm trying to do this with one hand I'm using a 3.5 millimeter hook 
because I am making an amigurumi baby. All right, so I did the, it's not focusing. There we go. Maybe I can get it to focus this way. There we go. Um, it's just not very bright over here. Let me see if I can adjust the light to come over. I've got a shadow. Ah, I'm laying in the bed. Sorry. All right, let me try it this way. Um, okay, so what I'm doing is, is I was telling you guys that if you didn't want to use it by itself, you can pair it. So I am pairing it with a number three. So with this strand, it makes it a four because this is more like a one or a two. But if you pair it together and stitch it, and I'm doing a center pull on that and I'm doing an outer pull on my ball because it's some scrap yarn. So this is the beginning. Let's see if I can get it to focus. This is the beginning of what it's gonna look like. Now, the thing with this particular eyelash yarn, all the fuzzies are mainly gonna be on the inside, which I, I wish it wasn't like that. I may reverse my stitch. So if I do that, I will show you guys what it's gonna look like, but you can kinda of see how the fuzzies are on the outside. I'm gonna, the camera's not doing it justice. I'm gonna do one arm and then show you what it looks like, and then I will be right back. Okay, so I finished the arm. I see the sparklies. I like the sparklies. Let's see if it's going to focus in. There we go. And that is done with the coffee brown and a pale yellow. The baby's got a, it's kind of a cream colored. This is an arm that I finished. Now I'll show you what the baby looks like done. But see the fuzzies? Let's see if it'll focus in. Oh, there we go. Yay! It's the fuzzies. So cute. And it's soft. It's, it looks wiry, but it's really soft. Uh, I tried doing reverse stitch, and it didn't look right. So I went ahead, and the camera's really not picking up the sparkly as, as much as it really is sparkly. It's very sparkly. Not only furry, but very sparkly. Mm, I hate that it's not picking up the sparkles. It may be because the, the alt light's too bright. Maybe if I do this. No, it's just showing fuzzy. It's not showing sparkly. It's so sparkly. No, you can't see it. Anyway, all right, so that's what that yarn does. I was going to show you that. Next, I'm going to use some of this yarn. This is some of the yarn that's in the giveaway as well. This is a green. And this one's a, if I'm not mistaken, that's a two. See if it'll focus in. Yeah, that one's a, a fine too. I think I'm going to pair it with a with a white. I'm not sure yet. It says use a three millimeter hook. I'm going to use a 3.5 since I'm going to be using a white yarn with it. 60% cotton, 28% varicose, and 10% polyamide. Urban Cotton Lux. But yeah, I'm giving two balls of this away in the giveaway. So y'all go check out the giveaway. Okay, so I'm making the hat for the baby, the the bonnet. And this is what the outside looks like with the furry yarn, with the eyelash yarn. But this is what the inside looks like. Isn't that pretty? So if you were to do something back and forth, um, turning, this would be more... I don't know, the eyelashes are going inside for some reason, but I mean, it's still pretty on the outside. It's just I would have preferred more of the fuzzy on the outside rather than on the inside. 